Uh, not that much, but... Oh, okay. Well, this is, this no. is the room that he preferred to, uh, to hang in during his sessions. It used to be a lounge, now it's just kind of storage. Um, but yeah, Neil Young spent a lot of time in this room. Yeah, sure. <laughs> maybe, maybe taking some drugs and from, sure making some new stuff. Yeah. Yeah. Where are you from? I'm from Prague. Oh, Super cool. Poly. Cool. Just visiting Los Angeles? Yeah, I'm staying at my mother's stepsister. You know, she, she lives in LA and oh, okay. working in Vegas. So. Cool. So I'll take you over to Studio B now, which uh, has made quite a few famous records in its own right. It's not, it's not quite as heavily covered in the documentary. I have to get my keys. Let me find my keys quickly. It's okay, go, go get them. So this is really the place where, where Nirvana recorded yeah. Nevermind. Uh, Dave Grohl sat right, on, right where that drum kit is. Oh my god! Are you, uh, are you a drummer at all? No, 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 I'm a, I'm a, I'm a frontman. I play the guitar and doing some vocals. I, uh, I can okay. play the drums. I was going to say, if you want to sit at the drums and, and hear the sound of the room, I mean, that's the biggest. <laughs> That's why this place is so famous. The drums now. I have to find my keys though. I don't know where they are. Oh, there they are. You have them? All right, so Studio B. Uh, Studio B did a lot of Rick Springfield records, Queens of the Stone Age. Queens of the Stone Age. Yeah, Queens of the Stone Age did two records in here. Um, Which one? Rated R and Lullabies to Paralyze, I believe. Oh my God. And uh, Charles Manson recorded in here. Killing spree. So, uh, Studio B is the smaller, more dead room. Yeah. It's a very dead sounding room. It's really cool, also. Yeah, I actually prefer this to the to the uh, main room. Actually. I like a I like a more intimate sounding room. Yeah, I see. For my recordings. Um, yeah, control rooms any, of any interest to you? We're, we're the only studio in the world that I'm aware of that has two Helios consoles. They're, this console mixed Led Zeppelin records as well as many others, and the other one used <laughs> to belong to the band Heart. Um, I don't know if you're familiar with Heart at all. Um, okay. But uh, the other one is used to record a ton of Lenny Kravitz, so if you like Lenny Kravitz, that's that. Right, well, not so much, but when I was younger, I used to listen to it. And gotcha. Not yeah. Now, but... yeah, we, we're kind of tight with Lenny Kravitz, like those speakers over there are his. Um, I think they say say LK on the side actually. Um, yeah, we uh, we have a long sort of relationship with them just because uh, our former when we were when we uh, essentially two studios partnered our studio with Sound City uh, when our former studio which is called Waterfront was on the East Coast it was chief, the chief engineer was Lenny Kravitz former yeah. engineer of twenty five years Henry Hirsch uh -huh. um, so we have a lot of history sort of intertwined with those guys and you know as a result awesome. like Slash and some of those. Some of those uh, more notable modern rockers. But uh, yeah, and uh, Nevermind, our platinum record for Nevermind is right there if you want to take a picture. Yeah, I see, that. of course. Oh. Um, yeah. As well as you know, many of the other platinum records that we've made over the years. Not me personally, of course, but. Uh, <laughs> oh my god. I'm probably. I'm not gonna sleep today. No. I, 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 I'm um, gonna get I'll drunk. You, I'll, drunk. I'll, I'll show you one more cool thing. I don't know if it, this will be quite as exciting or not, but uh, we have an echo chamber as well, which you don't see at many studios. So it's just a total mess in here. I have a I don't huge. Mind it. I don't mind it. I don't I mention it. All right, cool. Yeah, I have a huge session tomorrow. That I'm getting ready for, so it's kind of enough. So this is the echo chamber. We send uh, we send audio in here, and obviously oh. it reverberates. So this is actually our main source of reverb for our recordings here, and then uh, we have a couple of. Uh, so the reverb is made just by this place, and yeah. just like. Yep. Yeah. Like, uh, we also have, uh, so no no digital effects, nothing. Just just recording. No, we don't do digital here. We don't, I mean, we have a Pro Tools system, but we we have tape. We stick to tape machines as often as possible. Yeah. We also have three um, EMT 140 stereo plates, vintage, like the classic, classic reverbs out here on most records. Um, yeah. All right. Okay. Okay.
So if it's okay, I'll, I'll show you that because I've got so much to do. Um, yeah, yeah, sorry, sorry, sorry no, for no, disturbing. No, 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 happy to walk you through. Um, yeah. Thanks for stopping by. Oh my god. I was like afraid to even, you know, walk inside because there were signs like no entrance. There are cameras yeah, yeah, all I mean, around them. Generally, people call Sandy Skeeter, whose father opened the studio, and then she walks them through, but it's, it's not a big deal to knock on the door. Not, not you know, as long as there's no session going on. But, um, yeah. Okay, man, thank you. Thank you nice very to much. Meet you. Yeah, yeah. I appreciate it. So yeah, no trouble you. at all. Enjoy the rest of your trip. Thank you, thank you. Yeah. Have a good day. Thanks, Goodbye. You too. Take care. Bye. Don't put it down.